Historic flash flooding impacted central Alabama this week, and cities like Penson are looking into ways to stop it. As CBS 42's Jake Jatman explains, city leaders there say they've hired a group of experts to study Penson's flood plain on Main Street. They want to determine what, if anything, can be done to alleviate the flooding. So they do a survey and get, find out exactly what they can do to fix the problem down here. Is that my birthday girl right there? Yes, sir. All right. Kevin Nelson owns Price's Ice Cream on Main Street in Pinson. And in just one week of opening, they've had plenty of customers. You want a cherry? Well, I can get you a cherry. I've been blown away. That everybody's just loved it. Nobody's had a negative word. I mean, it's all so positive. But one thing that can ruin everyone's good time. Heavy rain causing floods and damage to people's property. I a foot deep twice in here in the last, say, 15 years. And that's what did part of the decay to this building, why it didn't do anything. And so it stymies growth. It stymies your ability to have a, a, a viable Main Street. And most people want to have a viable Main Street. Here. Joe Cochran is the mayor of Pinson. He says the floodplain off Main Street has grown in recent years. The study will take a couple of months to determine whether or not they could fix the flooding issue. But he says it's better to know now if it can or can't be done. It's an effort to give Penson a main street that they want and give business owners an opportunity to do the kind of business that the people in Penson want them to do. And Nelson hopes the study will give the answers they need. Two or three, is that y'all? I'll bring it to you. I'll bring it to you. Because I wouldn't have to worry about my building flooding again. Even if it takes one scoop at a time. How are you? I'm blown away with people just loving these hot dogs and ice cream and the good time we're having here because I'm having a good time doing it. In Pinson. I knew it would be you. I knew it would be. Jake Chapman, CBS 42 News. Local coverage you can count on.